In this series of videos, we're discussing the four ways that you can organize the project's tool window in Slick Edit. You can organize each project in a workspace differently so that each project is set up the way that makes the most sense for that project. This is great for workspaces that might have different types of projects. The fourth and final way to set up the project's tool window is customize folders for directories. This is great for any size project and very flexible. The disadvantages are that it is not e obvious how to set up and you have to add each root directory manually. To show this, we're actually going to create a new project and add the same files to it. We're just going to zip through these steps. If you need help creating a project, check out our video titled How to Create a Project or the Using Projects in Slick Edit playlist on our YouTube channel. Now that we have a project created, we'll right click and select Add Folder. We're going to give it a name, Root, and leave the wildcards blank. Then we'll right click on the new folder and select Add Tree. We need to be sure to, to check Create Subfolders. And let's talk for a second about Add as Wildcard. This is good to use if everybody on your team isn't using Slick Edit and you don't want to manually add files to your project when you update from version control. This way Slick Edit will find them. Using this method to find files in your project does affect performance, especially if you're working with files over a network. If you use Wildcard projects, create subfolders will be disabled, but subfolders will be created. Here at Slick Edit, we're very concerned with performance, so we do not use wildcard projects. When we click OK, you can see the folders were added. Then we would remove the other folders by right-clicking and choosing Remove. Download your free trial today. Go to www.slickedit.com slash trial.